Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to Orario. My name is Anjana. So today I'm going to take the remaining portion of the first chapter of social science, the early human life. So in the previous previous class, we discussed more about the Paleolithic age, the early life, the early man's life, their lifestyle, the features of cave paintings, the information we gather from the cave paintings, their technological advancement, the weapons they used and the major Paleolithic site. Hope you all studied well. So today I am going to discuss about the further topics, Mesolithic age, Neolithic age and Chalcolithic age. So let's start with the first topic, Mesolithic age. What is the meaning of the word Mesolith? The Meso is a Greek word which means middle and the Lith means stone. So uh, this is the period in between the Paleolithic age as well as in the uh, Neolithic age. And uh, in this period they used small, sharp and pointed tools as weapons. So we learned in the previous class, they in the Paleolithic age they used rough stones as weapons. So here they used micro stones as weapons and this period is otherwise known as Microlithic age. So why they use these tools? These tools used for hunting by fastening to a pole and also for removing the skin from the hunted animals. So uh, the an hunting became extensive in this period and the animals became extinct and the major among them is mammoth. Mammoth is belongs to the uh, elephant family and it have long tusk and fur covered body. It lived around 10,000 years back. And in the previous class we discussed about the Paleolithic age. They uh, ate the uh, cooked food, the residues of the cooked food as well as the fruits, vegetables and the freshwater fishes were discovered from the caves. We learned in the previous class and in this period man began to discover new types of food that is edible grasses, dolphin, otter, whales etc. Now let's see the progress of human life in the Mesolithic age. They started settled life. So in the uh, Paleolithic age they were wandering but in this Mesolithic age they began to settle, uh, began a settled life and bows and arrows were used for hunting. So uh, in the Mesolithic age they used small sharp and pointed tools for hunting. So here they used bows and arrows also for hunting. So they can hunt animals from afar. So they can hunt animals from a distance and they domesticated dogs and began to exchange food tools and ornaments. So in early days also they made the ornaments and tools and all but in this age they began to exchange these uh, ornaments, tools etc. And logs were tied together and used for navigation. Navigation means for the water transportation. Uh, in order to cross a river or a lake, they uh, tied the logs together and used for navigation. So this is the progress attained by the human in the Mesolithic age. Evidence for the human life in the Mesolithic age have been discovered from the different countries in Europe and West Asia. In India, it is in Bajor in Rajasthan and Adamgarh in Madhya Pradesh. From these places, we get more valuable information about the Mesolithic age. Let's move on to the next topic, Neolithic age. So, the people used polished stone tools in this age. In Paleolithic age, they used rough stones as weapons. And in Mesolithic age, they used sharp pointed small stone tools as weapon. And in this age, they used polished stone tools as weapons and uh, the major progress in this field is they started cultivation. So why they started cultivation? Uh, the increase in population, the environmental changes and scarcity of food is the reason for the they started cultivation. So uh, as the number of people increases, the scarcity of food also increases. So they need to cultivate. So they cultivated near the river valley. So why they choose the river valley? Uh, it's better irrigation facilities and the land is very fertile. So they started irrigation or they started cultivation near the river valley. The change from the food gathering to food production is the landmark in the history of human life. In Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age, they gathered food and in this Neolithic age, they started cultivation and they produced food. So a historian, Golden Child, described or termed these changes as Neolithic revolution. 
So they started cultivation. So they started settle life for the cultivation as well as for the domestication of the animals. They rare animals for food and also for the cultivation. In Mesolithic age also they domesticated dogs. So what are the major crops they cultivated? Wheat, barley, paddy, plantain, jute etc. were the major crops they cultivated. Do you heard about the Edekal Caves? Yeah, it's in Wayanad. The Edekal Cave is a major Neolithic site in Kerala. So from the cave painting, we can identify the picture of a wheel cart, a dancing girl and the geometrical figures. So they used wheels. So for what purpose they used wheels? To carry goods from one place to another, they used wheels. Let's see the technological advancement attained at the Neolithic age. So at that time, they used polished and sharpened tools. So in Paleolithic age, they used rough stone tools and in Mesolithic age, they used small sharp and pointed tools and in Neolithic age, they used sharpened and polished stone tools. And wooden handled stone axes and sickles were used. So the axes and sickles are used for cultivation and wooden handled stone axes and sickles were used at, the, at this period and they made pots of clay. So how they made these pots? By using the wooden pottery wheel. So at that time they used the wheels. We already learned they used wheels at that time. So wooden wheels were used for making pottery and uh, raft were used for water transportation. In Mesolithic age also they tied logs together for the water transportation or navigation purpose. So they, we can see the progress in the water transportation. Here they ra used raft for water transportation. And ornaments were made of stone, wood and bones. And in Paleolithic age itself they started making ornaments. Uh, we can see the progress in the sculpture. So in this period also they made the ornaments using stones, wood and bone. And plowshare and spade were made of wood. So this plowshare and spade is also used for agriculture purpose. So they are also made using wood. And harpoons and fishing hooks were used for fishing. So what is mean by harpoons? It is a long and sharp weapon attached to the rope. So we can kill large uh, fishes like whales etc. So harpoons and fishing hooks were used for fishing. And clothes woven out of jute fibers were seen using needle made of bones. So we already learned in the Paleolithic age itself they used bones as needle, right? So here also they use these bones as needle for sewing the clothes woven out of jute fibers. So here also we can see the progress. So in early days or in Paleolithic age they used bark and hide as the clothes but in this period they used the jute fibers for clothes. Okay. Lake village in Switzerland is another example for the evidences of Neolithic age. So the dwellings in the lakes were made of logs, mud and animal skin. So these are the evidences of the Neolithic age. And walls and houses were built of stones were discovered in the Jericho in Palestine. Jermo in northern Iraq is the another example for the Neolithic site. The remains of the several mud huts have been discovered here. So they used sun-dried bricks as well as the sun-dried mud blocks for the construction. So these are the evidences obtained from the Neolithic age. During the Neolithic age, people spread far and wide. So the consequent need of the cultivable land and also the habitable land is the reason for the migration. And also the progress in the water transportation is also help for the migration of these people. Now let's see the major Neolithic sites. We already discussed about the Edekal Caves which is in Wayanad, the lake village in Switzerland, Jericho in Palestine and Jermo in northern Iraq. In India there are many Neolithic sites and uh, Thakalakota, Brahmagiri and Hallur are among them. Now let's compare the life of human in the Paleolithic age and Neolithic age. And the first one is tools. In Paleolithic age they used rough stones and in Neolithic age they used polished stones. And the second one is occupation. The major occupation in the Paleolithic age is hunting. So they mainly engaged in hunting. And in Neolithic age agriculture and the domestication of animals is the main occupation. And the third one is food gathering. 
In Paleolithic age, they collect food and in Neolithic age, they started producing food because they started cultivation. So the change from the food gathering to the food production is the landmark in the history of human life. And next one is settled life. In a Paleolithic age, they were wandering. So they have a wandering life and in Neolithic age, they have a settled life. Next one is animal husbandry. In Paleolithic age, they do not domesticate or rear animals. But in Neolithic age, they rear animals for food. So widespread animal husbandry. And next one is pottery. Uh, during the Neolithic, uh, during the Paleolithic age, uh, they used uh, bark fibers as the web, uh, vessels. And in Neolithic age, clay pots were made using wheels and the technological advancement. Uh, we have discussed about the progress in the sculpture, painting and handicrafts in the Paleolithic age. And in Neolithic age, made, they made uh, agriculture tools, pottery wheel, raft used in water transport, fishing angers for fishing. So the, we can see lot of progress in the life of human. So let's move on to the last topic, Calcolithic age. So this is the transition period from stone age to the metal age. In this age, they used copper tools and uh, they made uh, bronze using copper and tin. So uh, in Paleolithic age, they used rough stones. In Mesolithic age, they used sharp pointed and small stone tools. And in uh, Neolithic age, they used uh, polished stone tools. And in this age, they used metal tools. Chathalhoyuk in Turkey is a major Neolithic and Calcolithic site. Ancient forms of uh, urban settlement existed in this site. So there the remains of dwellings, houses were discovered from this site and houses were made of mud blocks. And they cultivated wheat and barley there and they drew pictures on the walls of the huts. Melgar in Balochistan is the important Calcolithic site in the Indian subcontinent. So uh, in this time they cultivated wheat and barley in, uh, in the spirit and uh, they build houses with ovens using mud blocks and they drew pictures on the walls of the huts and uh, the invention of pottery wheels or they discovered the evidence of the pottery wheels during this period. So in this chapter we discussed about the life of early men, their lifestyle, the clothes, the hunting techniques, weapons they used and uh, the progress in the technological advancement of the early human. So uh, this chapter is basically classified into four, Paleolithic age, Mesolithic age, Neolithic age and the Calcolithic age. This Calcolithic age is otherwise known as uh, Bronze age. So the Stone age means the people uh, started uh, using stones as the weapons. So the Stone age is basically classified into Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic. As the need of the human increases, they change the tools also. So in the Paleolithic age, they use rough stones and in Mesolithic age, they use sharp and pointed tools and uh, in Neolithic age, they used uh, polished tools and in uh, Calcolithic age, they used metal weapons. So hope you all understood this chapter. If there is any doubt, please comment me in the comment box and for further videos and classes, please share and subscribe. Thank you.